picture. No, it's recording. You've got to say, hey cuties. No. Why? Because I don't need to. We're all going to say it at the same time. No. Well, don't, you're not allowed to be in my video then. Okay, fine. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Hey, hey cuties. cuties! So we've got Tale, eight. <coughs> Jacob, 13, and my mum, 42. So basically today, we're gonna do some reactions to some Am I the A-holes and some confessions. And I just thought it'd be quite insightful as we are all very, very different ages, basically. So we'll just jump straight in. Am I the asshole for being my, for bringing my sister-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when she conveniently always forgets it? Nope. So it's my sister-in-law, female 28, Amy. Oh, me, female 28, sorry. And my sister-in-law, Amy, female 26, always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or domes up, comes up or comes up with some excuses as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I have just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. She has made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the asshole. And I'll admit, I got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. As we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right on top of her suitcase. I put it in my purse and we went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached in my purse and said, this wallet? She was extremely furious. What? She said that I should not have grabbed her, touched or grabbed her wallet. So am I the asshole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? I say no. I don't think so. Not when she's been literally getting everybody else to pay and not paying them back. Sorry, you <laughs> booked it. <laughs> You it. it guys. wasn't even. It wasn't even like, oh, no. I would really like right. to go to this restaurant. No. What do you no. guys think? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I've heard really good things. She's like, yes, so I've booked the table for three, mm -hmm. knowing that others mm -hmm. are going to you pay. For sorry, I'm not being funny, but I would be like, as soon as we're leaving the house, go and get your. You're telling me you forgot it when I've told you right now. I'm telling you, your, your toe is over the threshold. <laughs> your toe is over the threshold. I'm telling you, have you, have you got your wallet with you? Mm -hmm. You're telling me you forgot? Yeah. No, you haven't. She's never paid her back. That's the thing. So Imagine. no, she was right to pick up her wallet. That's that was rude. nicely sitting there saying, take me. It literally, like me. She, it's like she placed it. <laughs> but she's put edit. Amy just called me. She saw this post and she yelled at me for bad-mouthing her on the internet. Honestly, I don't care. Amy, hopefully reading all these comments is a wake-up call for you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Her sister-in-law. That's even worse. So, my brother doesn't have to pay, but his wife does. But what I want to know is, I'm sorry, but if your wife is trying to tell me something, I'm why are you not telling her? That's what I want to know. Why is the husband allowing that? Probably just wants peace in it. Yeah, but this is the thing. I'm sorry, but, but... we don't know because we don't know if he said anything. Well, yeah. Or not. Well, and she maybe he has, and she's still like. <laughs> 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 or just when the bill comes, just be like, okay, well, this is the husband's share. This is my share, mm. and then leave that her bit outstanding. <clears throat> I was listening to a podcast, right, and it said in it, this boy. Basically, what he'll do when he goes on a date with a girl, he will say he's going to the toilet, but he'll... No, it's actually a good thing. He'll say he's going to the <laughs> toilet, and he'll he'll go up to the waiter and say, oh, let me, pay, let, let me oh. pay. And then when he comes back, obviously she's expecting, oh, yeah, we're going to pay for the bill now, maybe yeah. we'll split it, whatever. He's like, no, I've taken care of it. Oh, so so what she should have done 
is gone gone to the waiter, paid for her and her husband's part, and then been like in a bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? And taken, left the wallet at home. Left her wallet. Oh no. Look at that. What are you gonna do now? I'd want to be really good friends with my sister-in-law. Yeah. Like, we'll be besties. Why dramatic? <laughs> but honestly, like, the amount of in-law stories that I hear, insanity. I heard one where it was like the mum, basically the whole, it was like he had like two or three sisters and it was him and two or three sisters and the mum and the, and the mum and the sisters like hated the wife. They literally hated her so much. They... <sighs> She didn't want the mum, the mum was trying to tell her what wedding dress to buy and like where to have the, all this longness. And she was like going to try on wedding dress and she was like, I don't want him, I don't want her to come. And like the mum's kicking off, the husband's like, can you just like, just keep the peace? Yeah. So she bought her dress and the mum bought the same one. Mm -hmm. To wear on the day. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, but I will commit murder. Like, I'm not joking. Wow. And you will help me get away with it because it's very valid. You will. Imagine. Are you actually joking? The only reason you want to come is so you can actually buy the same dress as me and wear it on the day. Even worse, the sisters also bought wedding dresses. Mm -mm. To wow. wear. Just, uh, we don't like you. We don't accept you. Mad. You. But the we wife don't found know out. Why he likes you. The wife <laughs> found out before the wedding. Yeah before she'd sent the invitations, told everyone, apart from them, Good. Um, where... Different location. No, no, no. Wear, like, black or wear... Uh, wear purple. Something, yeah, yeah. anyway. So they were told out, everyone. Yeah. And they were literally the only ones and they looked so stupid. Yeah. And the mum was screaming and I was like... <laughs> like, wow. reading this story, I was like... Ah. Is she an a-hole for doing that? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I did done worse. This is what I'm like. Sometimes when I read these things, I'm like, you lot are nice. Right. Like, you lot are too kind. Wow. Anyway, <clears throat> the next one. Am I the asshole for making the dad joke? Note, my stepdaughter Madeline was about a year old when I married her mother, Jessica. Madeline's father died before she was born. Madeline is currently 15 and she's rebelling for almost everything. She did something bad, so while picking her up, I set a punishment up for her. Then she said, you're not my dad, I don't have to follow you. Honestly, I got a bit hurt from that, but I understand that she didn't mean it and that she'd probably change. I just replied, I'm still your legal guardian for the next three years, and as long as you're in my house, you have to follow my rules. That happened about two days ago. So our family was going grocery shopping when Madeline said, I'm hungry, I need food. I decided to be extremely cheeky and say, hi hungry, I'm not your dad. My son just started to laugh uncontrollably. My daughter was just quiet with embarrassment and my wife was berating me not, not to stoop down to her level. I honestly thought it was a funny dad joke and my son agrees, so am I the arsehole? No, that is funny though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he is at all. I'm hungry, I'm not your dad. Like, <laughs> you she said it, said it. Right. yeah. So it's like, did she... Did she apologise for saying it? Was there like a whole conversation? Like he's put, um, edit, I did adopt her, so I legally am her parent. I'll probably give a full update later, but here's what happened so far. I go to my daughter's room after dinner and began talking to her. Hey, I'm really sorry that I hurt you by the words I said, and I am really your dad. I changed your diapers, I met your boyfriend, and I plan on helping you through college. And plus, I'm legally your dad, so we're stuck together. But seriously, I'm going to love you like my daughter, even if you don't think I'm your dad. Then I hugged her. She did start to cry. I assume that's good. Yeah. Different story if she didn't know that wasn't her dad and he said that. That wouldn't have been funny at all. But mm -hmm. she made the comment mm -hmm. in the first place. So it's like... Well, can't be that hurt by it so so it's like well, well, because if she's hurt by that then it seems like well you you said that purposely to hurt my feelings then yeah of course she did do you think i don't think there's no banter in it from her no way mm. but it's like just imagine somebody's actually picking you choosing to be your Parent, guardian, guardian carer, yeah. however you want to put it. That's like, wow. And you're like, yeah. And he's still saying, punish me. And he's still saying, regardless of your attitude, I'm still 
gonna be here for you. Yeah, but that happens, doesn't it? When it's like, when um, kids are like, I hate you. To their pet, it's the same thing, effectively, of course, isn't it? But you know, he, he it's just, it's lovely. When she's older, she'll be like, oh. She will probably think back to that moment and have another little Feel tear again. Yeah. yeah, he's such a lovely man, <laughs> even though he's not my dad. <laughs> yeah, but she I think she'll, like in her head, he is. And remember, but she's only fifteen. Yeah. And can you remember being fifteen? <laughs> no. All the probably. Oh, shut up. If your parents say something. Oh, just shut up. Do you even understand where I'm coming from? Do you understand my feelings? Do you even understand? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you. I don't remember that. No, but I'm sure. I'm sure. It's different with my mum. I was like, um, yes, mum, you know, I was good. Yeah. But yeah, but you wouldn't, you would, see not necessarily, children. not necessarily shut up out loud, but. In your head? Yeah. Even then, I was still like, yes, mum. In my head, it'd be like, yes, mum. Really? Yeah, like literally. Oh. I used to see other children, obviously, Anomaly. and I used to be like, wow, how is your head not off your shoulders yeah, right now? Surely you must have seen how, like, some kids talk to their parents. <laughs> and are you not like, how are you literally not in a grave? <laughs> My friend. What oh, happened? <laughs> they want to get in that. That's a whole different story. Go on. Come on. Share. You don't, need to, you don't need to say the name. Say the name. He like swears that his mum was... Mm -mm. I think so. Yeah, their no, mum. Let's just call her names. Yeah, so do, do they swear at her or oh, to oh her? I'm so not... like, is it like F off mum? Or is it like when their mum's talking oh or today at school was long or mate mum the most effing amazing thing happened today at school yeah i think it's at but like wow i'm not sure if they do swear i'm not sure i don't think so even calling your mum names honestly unless it's gorgeous beloved <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we concluded, not the arsehole. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, I've seen this one before, but I, n I literally needed to tell you about it because it's, I think it's incredible. Right, am I the arsehole for not taking down my video that was a gift from my best man? I have a sister that's six years older than me. My parents for years cancelled on me last minute because of my sister. I have a basketball game. Oops, sorry, sister doesn't feel like going out. I'm graduating oops sorry sister had a bad day at work they have missed both major and smaller events in my life because of her meltdowns i met the love of my life we decided to tie the knot from the beginning i told my parents how i'm worried my sister will ruin another special moment in my life my mum told me over and over again it would not happen the day of my wedding i received a voicemail from my mum saying they couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick and she was upset i was hurt my best man however is a jokester he took my phone, when, then went to my fiancé and asked if he could post a video of our wedding as a gift on social media. She loved his idea. I had no idea about it until I came home. Our honeymoon was at lakeside, at a lakeside cabin, no cell service. The post caption was, my best friend. He is an amazing person, even if his parents never showed up for him. Video was... Video was still pictures of us next to her parents, me on the dance floor cutting the cake, when you would normally see both parents in wedding pictures. The sound behind the video was my mum's voicemail explaining how they couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick. I came home a week later to hundreds of messages, family members from both sides insisting I take it down. I was told my sister hadn't stopped crying. My mum is refusing to leave the house. Maybe... I may be the A here. I didn't take it down when I got my messages. I didn't call my family back right away. I waited until my vacation time was over at work and enjoyed my time with my wife in our new home before I contacted anyone. My dad told me to take down the video. It was just a bad night for them, that they will make it up to me and my wife for not coming. My reply was exactly, how do you plan to make up my wedding? It's a once in a lifetime thing. You choose to ignore my feelings on the whole matter. 
then he just repeated he will make it up to me. I told him I would take down the video only when he made up missing my wedding. Flustered, we both hung up the phone before we both said things we shouldn't have. Am I the A here? I could have just taken down the video. I don't think so. Because I think his family need to actually acknowledge how much they have been over the years. I think that's absolutely... At least something. Give him something. At least the wedding day. Come on. Do not think you owe him that much. The fact they even invited you. This is <laughs> this is my point. Wow. I am graduating. Oops, sorry. Sister had graduating. a bad day at work. Graduating. Are you serious? Fair enough, her kidney was falling out. <laughs> she had a bad day at work. Oh, give over. I'd at all. Oh. Who do you think the favourite sibling is? <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. You're getting married. Mum's like, sorry, Jacob. Tyler hurt his toe. <laughs> what would you be like? Imagine! I would not be happy. <laughs> what would you say? I don't know what I'd say. Take it down. For why? Right. So that no so that everyone doesn't know that that's what you're like. I'll post it again. <laughs> I'll send it to your just, boss. Just in case. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? A voicemail. A voicemail, you actually didn't have the decency to wait for me to pick up. You didn't have the Am I checking my voicemail, please, on my wedding day? The fact that you even checked it. But wasn't that the first thing they said to take it down and then sorry? Oh, was it imagine. not take it down and then sorry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even I said, he literally said, from the beginning I told my parents how I am worried my sister will ruin another special moment in life. My mum told me over and over again it would not happen. Take it down. You literally have lied to me. I wish he said how long they were engaged. Mm. You've literally lied over and over again and cancelled because her dog is sick. Mm -hmm. Dog. Are you actually normal? Dog. I am your child yeah. and I'm getting married. The, the dog is more important than It's me. not even your dog. <laughs> it's not even your dog. Send him to the bloody vet <laughs> and call it a day. Yeah, Be this, like, sorry, lads, so we have to leave him here. Take, the sister can't take the dog and her parents can then go to the wedding. No, mum, she's so hysterical <laughs> that the dog is sick. <laughs> she can't possibly move. Wow. What? Do you, what? Wow. Isn't that, like, just... <laughs> just <laughs> unbelievable. Take it down. And then sorry. What that, would you do? That is, why are you even saying sorry? What like, would you do? Would you take it down? No. Would you even reply? <laughs> <laughs> block everybody. I would. Just keep going, no. living your life. I wouldn't block them. I'd just leave it. I'd just not reply. Yeah. That is mad. They mention it. What message? <laughs> <laughs> what video? I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> just delete them all but just don't reply to them <laughs> then if they go oh I said no you didn't wrong number mate <laughs> what wow. video what best man wedding I'm not married that one is the worst that's awful isn't it awful am I the asshole for punishing my son after he said something racist about a week ago my 39 female family I assume he means wife ordered Chinese food for delivery. When the delivery driver came to the door, my daughter, 16 female, was taking the cat upstairs to put her in her room because he always tries to eat the food. Oh, taking the cat upstairs to put in her room because he always tries to eat the food. My son, 13 male, loudly says, make sure you hide the cat from the Chinese guy as I, as I am at the door getting the food from the Chinese delivery driver. He very obviously heard what my son said and was upset by it. I quickly apologised and took the food. I told my son that racist jokes were completely unacceptable and very wrong and he refused to admit that he was in the wrong. So later that night I forced my son to write a sincere apology to the delivery driver, his name was on the receipt, as well as write a one page paper on Chinese culture and a one page paper on why racism is perpetuated, perpetuated, well done. <laughs> by, by racist jokes and stereotypes. Then the next day I took him to the restaurant and had him read his apology aloud to the delivery driver as well as give him the papers he wrote. 
The driver was very appreciative of the apology and thanked me for making my son do it. He then told my son about multiple instances where he had faced racist comments and attacks from people while he was a delivery driver. Uh, that night, uh, she's writing this. Who? My 39 female family. So she's 39 female. The person who's writing Who's this. writing it. Yes. Yeah, so then she goes on to say, That night my husband... 43 male and I got into an argument about me making our son do this he told me that it was embarrassing for our son to have to do the apology and that the punishment didn't fit the crime I told him that it was much more embarrassing for the driver to have to face that kind of racism and racist stereotypes and that our son would get over the embarrassment I do not condone any kind of hateful thinking in my house and the fact that my son said that embarrassed me as well my husband told me that it was just a joke and it wasn't a bit that big of a deal I feel like I might have overreacted some, but I think it's important to help my son understand how what he said was wrong and hurtful. No way is she. You don't know what that could lead on to other things. But even the husband. Well, then where even did he get it from in the first place? <laughs> that was exactly my thought. <laughs> even the husband. Oh, it was just a joke. Yeah. Who was laughing? Yeah. And if the um, I didn't understand the joke. <coughs> the delivery driver is appreciative of what the punishment yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. Then, then it was appropriate, right? Because then he would have just said, "Oh, you know, it that was didn't." Yeah, yeah, it didn't affect <laughs> me that much. <laughs> Calm down, love. Calm Literally, down. Literally, <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> Tell it. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let him say. What time? What did you say? Be quiet. 6.38. Well, we'll whiz through them. Can you let him watch and switch? Well, he can go, isn't it? Now watch and switch. Yes, Tally, bye. <laughs> <laughs> now who do you think's favourite child? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed in the husband. Definitely. I think. And he's... Just think, well, even the, how many comments may he make? Might he make in a day or a week? But that's what I don't get. Like, at the end of the day, like, it's just not funny. Like, what is funny about that? Yeah. Because it's like, okay, cool. Chinese people eat cats. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you get it now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it before, I didn't understand it. Oh, sorry. I thought, yeah, but I thought you... When you said well, that, I don't, I don't understand the joke. I thought you meant because it's not funny. No. Yeah, so Chinese people eat cats. Chinese people eat dogs. Chinese people eat bats. Chinese people eat... Apparently. Everything. Apparently. Everything. And I everything. don't... Obviously, I've never been there, but apparently. They just... Every type of thing that you can eat, they eat it. Mm. Why not? I mean, but... Surely meat is meat. But what I don't understand is, if I, if I said, right, if I went to, for example, Amy used to have chickens. Imagine if I went round, Michael goes, keep the chickens away from her. <laughs> 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 but it's like... If that not, is so rude. Right, <laughs> exactly. But then again, it's not just black people that eat chicken. Right. So if a white person came in and you said, oh, keep them chickens away from her, no one would laugh. Right. But do you remember Because it's not it's cool funny. That lots of people used to say about chicken to you. <sighs> Mum, the amount of time I'll tell people that I don't like watermelon. Really? But you're black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even like what? <laughs> so you think the melanin in my skin <laughs> in my skin is your taste buds. Makes my taste buds do be something. Are you all right? Oh, literally, but you can see, Mum, it's sincere. But how? Well, I don't know. Because even you <laughs> saying it now, is that literally why people say it? Because, because of right. melanin? Because I didn't even <laughs> associate the two. Well, I because I'm black. be like... And I'm black because of melanin, so it must be that. Okay, but... Eh? Eh? Oh, my exactly. goodness. Exactly. The ignorance is deep, isn't it? That's bad. Watermelon. 
Where did that even come from? Yeah, but but that's what I'm. This is what I'm trying. I've never ever been able to equal that. Like, okay, watermelon must equal <laughs> plenty of black people like it. How? At least, because the thing is, someone explained to me. I don't know who it was. Really? Like, no, not 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 watermelon. Oh. Someone explained to me the chicken thing. Because obviously, it's the same to me. But the same as. That's what I'm saying. So um, I've always been like, okay, black people like chicken, but don't you? Right. Like, so like, <laughs> and even vegans, they like chicken. They just don't eat it because of morals. Right. So, so, I, uh, huh? But someone explained it to me. So it's, it's basically, it's, it's even, it's, it's even worse really? than you think. Because, because black people were poor. Yeah, they couldn't afford anything else. So that is so why. So they had to eat My chicken. Oh goodness. Yeah. I was forced, I was forced to eat chicken and I was like, ah. <laughs> I was literally, I had no other option. My goodness, I had wicked. no other option. People are Zero. Wicked. And you're like, wow, black people like chicken. But I didn't even know that. Yeah, but isn't that insanity? I didn't even know that. That's that madness, is so isn't it? wicked. Because I was like, okay, black people like chicken and what? <laughs> but this is like, but the thing that people mustn't know that. I don't know. Because you didn't know that? Yeah, but... It makes a lot of it sense doesn't, though. doesn't... I don't know. I think when it comes to racist comments, it doesn't... It's rude, <laughs> but it's not like, oh my gosh, that person's being so racist to me. That's, do you know what I mean? It's like what rubber ducks back. Maybe that's the wrong reaction. But what? my reaction if someone is racist to me yeah but it's more just like what because i yeah i don't understand <laughs> how you can think like that <laughs> yeah, it, it just makes no sense instead of it being mean, mean it's more just like, like yeah wow jacob i did, did you not tell me that or did that. i tell you i learned from school well actually it been you then when like, i've actually i don't feel like we've spoken about that yeah, because they were poor, yeah, and mm -hmm. they had to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where I found that out then. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, it's isn't it? it? Who, when did you learn this in school? It was like a week ago. It was like last. It was, it was this year. Probably. Really? Like, oh my god. Okay. So sorry. This year, I need to actually ask you this. Last time. So when you're learning about, maybe it doesn't happen because your tone of skin isn't very black. But do your school people in your class look at you when you're learning about safety? <laughs> <laughs> I used to get that. It was horrible. <laughs> I would feel so oh. uncomfortable. Literally, it'd be like, so today we're learning about slavery. Oh. Is that what happens to you as well? Uh, it all the time. To I just used that like, <laughs> let's say you're sitting in the corner, like the back here. Yeah, that's the day. And then, you're so far, and everyone. And then, and then you see it like all the hair of head at the same time. Oh my god. So they did do it to you? No. Wow. Oh, okay. I was gonna say they don't do it to you. But the darkest Sometimes. people in the class. Sometimes they the do. The darkest people in the class. Sometimes they sit to me. Okay, but it's, you, you better not be participating. You better not be yeah, participating. Do you? I bet you. I bet, I bet you are. If uh, Tala was in there, would you be like? I would. <laughs> no, but all the black people. Tala. No, all the black people. Talk about you, mate. All the black people just look at each other. <laughs> really? Because they're like. Yeah. Where do we look? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, be Miss, like, I'm leaving. Right now. I'm not sitting in here. <laughs> no, because that used to, nah. But you must have been the only black person, is it? It was me and Alexis, thank God. Wow. And once, it was he me was and Alexis next to each other. <laughs> yeah. But in the seat club, we were sat next to each other. So it was, they didn't have anywhere else to look. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just had to look so this sometimes way. Sometimes it would be like, like this. At, the front. at least it'd be 50 50. Imagine you at the front. <laughs> yeah, but I'd run back because I can't see them looking at me. <laughs> because it doesn't look that bad because it still looks like people are paying attention <laughs> oh, yeah. to the teacher no but if you were like at the front yeah and then people walk to the front like <laughs> no, no no if you're at the front this is about you and then you turn Start around moving their and, chairs in front of you and then they turn around to like let's say you'll turn around to speak to your friend and you to see everyone, everyone looking at you <laughs> oh that was it was horrible wow i know and you guys experience it so how many people of colour are in your class? But not not much people do it. Not really. 
So really? that means and it's getting so, better then. Sometimes people don't do it. Sometimes they do. do it. Like, I don't know, but it is just, it's not. <laughs> but I do think, okay, okay, I do think it might be also like a bit of curiosity on how yeah. are you reacting to this? Yeah, maybe. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I don't think many children that age have the emotional intelligence to think okay how do you feel about this yeah but i do think some people it's just an automatic reaction would be like no. oh no like you know but yeah. obviously some people are just be like oh, you're black <laughs> did anybody ask you though how you felt about it you know wow not even a teacher wow <laughs> My did they do that when you was in school I don't know. I don't really to be fair, though, they'd have to. They, I, mm, I don't know if that's Not a good in idea. Our school. Not in our school, but and you can't say it in the middle of class. There was, <laughs> and then you can't really say, "Oh, DJ, can you stay behind?" Right after we've just fucking. Yeah, oh, okay, DJ, I need to speak to you. But then, is it not like? And maybe some felt like they wanted to, but say. it's so uncomfortable. Mm. But then, surely that makes it wrong as well, you know. Yeah, but as like, I'm not being funny, but as a 13 year old, it's kind yeah, of like... Yeah, would you even want to? When you think about it now, <coughs> like if that happened now... And, well, it still does. No, 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 <laughs> but I'm saying at my age. For you, yeah. If that or happened to, to my friend yeah. or someone I knew now, I would probably be like, like some form of like, you yeah. okay? Like, you know, but I feel like, I feel like as a teenager, it's more just like, ignore it and it will go away yeah wow <laughs> but if it was like it would be my friends that do it not like some random person <laughs> oh not the oh, whole class oh it's not the whole no. class yeah either. with me it was the whole literally literally the whole class and the teacher <laughs> that's the thing <laughs> <laughs> and it would be like because Giovanna was Giovanna was in the class but Giovanna's quite light to be fair Alexis is quite light as well so I don't know why they would target us to yeah but um yeah, it would be like everyone would look apart from Giovanna, basically. <laughs> wow. It was just like... The thing is, it was funny because it was like... It would make me uncomfortable. But it would make me uncomfortable because everyone's looking at me. Of course. Like, I'm not uncomfortable. About the topic. I'm just uncomfortable because everyone... Yeah. And I know you're, I know you're looking at yeah. me. Yeah. It's not even as if I could be like, oh, they're looking at the, the board behind me mm -hmm. with the drawings. Mm -hmm. I know you're looking at me. Yeah. Like, that is making me uncomfortable. Gosh. I know. Mad.